my name is Patty and welcome to my YouTube channel. I post cleaning motivation, organization, and day in the life vlogs. And today is another edition of my spring cleaning series for 2023. We are focusing on the kitchen because it is a complete disaster. So let's just get right into this. Did you ever stop and think? Why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking Hi, and welcome to another edition of my spring cleaning series. Today we are in the kitchen. It's a complete disaster. There's so much all over the place between dishes and just like everything just gets dumped on the other counter as well. So there's just so much to clean up. I know I want to go in some of the drawers, some of the cabinets, clear those out. Everything needs to get wiped down. That garland that's been up there for about two years needs to be taken down and thrown away. It's just a complete mess. It's disgusting, the lights don't work anymore. So there's so much to get done today and most likely not enough time. So let's just get right into this. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh above the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking, I don't really care about the music on the dance. I've tried quite a few cleaners on my cabinets, but none of them really seem to work for me. So today I am trying a little bit of Dawn dish soap in hot water. I feel like this gave me the best clean and removed the most amount of grease on the cabinets. You'll notice I wiped down the cabinets and appliances with a wet towel and dry it off with another. I also made sure to wipe down the top of the fridge because it often gets unnoticed. The Dawn dish soap didn't remove 100% of the grease, so what are your tips and tricks to get grease off of the kitchen cabinets? Do I need to use more dish soap or do you have a favorite cleaner you like to use on the cabinets? This has been a problem I've struggled with since we've moved into this house. Is it any surprise I have a million clean and dirty dishes in and around the sink? I'm trying to be better at not stressing when it comes to keeping up with the dishes because there are too many factors out of my control. We don't own a dishwasher, we've got two kids, me and my husband work full time, and we eat most of our meals at home. So we are bound to create a ton of dirty dishes. It's just unrealistic for me to think I can keep up with every single dish every single day.
Do you even need a close-up pic of my stove to see the filth that has built up over the past few months? The amount of crumbs and burnt on messes is just embarrassing. I do have one of those oven cleaners, but I need to find a day where there's no one in the house just in case it really stinks up the place. So for now, I'm only going to clean the stove top and not inside of the oven. You'll also notice I did a good job cleaning up most of the messes, but there was just one burnt on mess by the high power burner that I could not get off. Maybe I just need a different cleaner, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. Cleaning the kitchen is a messy job, so I continue to vacuum as I go so I don't track more crumbs and dirt throughout the house. There is no easy way of cleaning these windows on the outside, so even though I Windex them, they still look a bit foggy. I'd honestly have to get a ladder to get outside, but that's probably for another day. I know Lox is getting like a little rammy up at his grandparents house who wants to come home and nurse so I don't know when they're gonna be here so I just wanted to give you a quick update before I get into the bottom 
cabinets. I'm gonna wipe all these down. I did all the cabinets on the top. Now I'm gonna do all the cabinets on the bottom. I did the outside of the fridge, the stove, and the countertops. Now you know there's dishes, and I know I said I wanted to go through the drawers, clean that kind of stuff out. So if I don't get into it right now, before the kids come home, I'll do it another day. But that's kind of where we're at for right now. So if this does drag on into a second day, just know this is the kitchen and parts that I cleaned already might not be clean in the second part. <laughs> that's just, you know, how it is. So let me start on the bottom cabinet. I found on these lower cabinets it was easier to use one of those non scrap sponges instead of a washcloth. It just scrubbed off the food stains and fingerprints so much easier. can't really see in the clips but I figured while I was at it scrubbing the cabinets I might as well clean up some of the spots all over the walls. Somehow the kids managed to get food smeared all over every surface of this kitchen. I'm not going to show myself washing all the dishes because 
number one, that would be way too boring. And number two, I would probably run out of room before I could even get everything washed. I'm not sure if this is correct, but every time after I wash my cast iron skillet, I rub it down with oil again. If you have any tips or resources for proper care of your cast iron, let me know down in the comments. I love cooking with it, but I'm not quite sure if I'm taking care of it properly. This is the progress we've made so far after my first day spring cleaning the kitchen. I was able to wipe down all the cabinets, do the dishes, wipe down the fridge, microwave and stove, and clean the countertops and backsplash. However, there is still so much for me to clean and declutter. I need to clean the inside of the microwave and stove. I need to do a thorough clean of the floors and I need to do a good declutter of all the cabinets. I have a very small kitchen and not enough space so anything I don't see myself using has to go. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and I hope to see you in part two of my kitchen spring clean. So make sure you're subscribed and have those bell notifications on. See you next time. Bye!